Hey, this is Matt from Newmark at the Gear for Music Studios, and in this video, we're going to check out engine lighting from SoundSwitch with the Mixstream Pro. Okay, so next, let's take a look at engine lighting by SoundSwitch, which is essentially embedded lighting control within Engine DJ. So let's head to our menu now and tap lighting. So what I've got here is my smart lighting control already set up with a pair of Philips Hue play bars. With SoundSwitch, we're able to use either DMX setups or Philips Hue setups. So let's use the most basic example of two Philips Hue play bars. Now to get this working, you simply connect your Philips Hue bridge to your network, join the network on the Mixstream Pro, connect the bridge, and you can then control the behavior of the lights directly from the screen. Now this works completely on Wi-Fi and it's a free service. If you want to use SoundSwitch DMX, what you need is a DMX dongle and a license to SoundSwitch. But of course, the big news here is that we can now use SoundSwitch away from the laptop and embedded within Engine DJ. So one of the cool things about the way SoundSwitch scripts tracks is that it reads the waveform of the track. So it knows where all the intros, crescendos, and big drops are for a track. So you can see here when I play this track, it's synced with the lighting. So this is running off what we call auto loops, and auto loops are genre specific. So you can see at the bottom here, I've got dance music, and upbeat, hip hop R&B, and then chill. And you can see the lights behave differently depending on which bank I'm in. So I'm gonna stay in the play or banks feature. And if you go through the track, you can see I can control the lights from the screen. So here I've got my color overrides. And I can also do things like white out and black out. also control my strobe as well as the intensity of the strobe as well. So if you already have Philips Hue Smart Lighting at home, this is a great way to integrate it into a potential streaming DJ setup. But of course we can use the Philips Hue setup with DMX as well. And for DMX, we have a different screen, which we'll show you now. So as I mentioned before, this is what we call our basic view in engine lighting, but we also have an advanced mode for DMX use as well. If I head to my cog here, and then go to general, let's tap show advanced controls, and I'll connect to Philips Hue again, and then bring it back. And you can see now we have a lot more control over our lighting fixtures. So for a DMX mode, you can see we have things like static looks, we have our group intensities, position overrides, more options for auto loop control. And then in our overrides menu, we have position overrides, color overrides, effects overrides, and more controls for things like UV and smoke. So to run a DMX setup with the Mixstream Pro, all you need to connect to the SoundSwitch onboard lighting is your SoundSwitch DMX cable. Use this into the back of the USB, connect these to your light fixtures, and you can even apply a Philips Hue setup into this universe as well. So that's how easy it is to use engine lighting by SoundSwitch on the Mixstream Pro. For more information on this product, check out the Gear for Music website.